Series, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing the Guilty Reader book tag. This tag was created by Read Like Wildfire I think about two months ago and I've been wanting to do it ever since I first saw the video because it's so fun and now I'm finally here to do exactly that. There are, I don't know how many questions because she didn't number them, but the first question is, have you ever regifted a book? Yes, I have. I can only remember one instance of doing this because usually people either ask me which books I want or they give me vouchers um, for books so I can get the ones I want. But like, I don't even know how long ago, forever ago, my mom got me Hurin's Children by J.R.R. Tolkien and uh, she got it for me in German. And it's also kind of a middle grade book. So at the time, I didn't really feel like reading it. And so I recently gave it to my sister. And I've never read it. <laughs> but I don't think it's too bad because it's still, it's staying in the family. And it's it's not like I didn't appreciate the gift. I just like, it just wasn't, I just wasn't in the mood for reading it, basically. Number two, have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't? Yes. <laughs> I mean, and this is like a gray area case, I would say, because I... Okay, the book I'm talking about is A Game of Thrones by J.R. Martin. And I honestly cannot remember whether or not I finished it. What I think happened is that I read half of it, realized that it's exactly the same as the first season of the TV show, and then just like stopped because I was, wasn't was really feeling it, and then just marked it as read on Goodreads. So I feel like that counts <laughs> uh, as, as a lie because <laughs> I only read half of it really, I think. Honestly, I can't, I don't know if I ever finished it. Number three, have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Not that I can remember. It is possible that as a child I like borrowed a book from a friend and haven't returned it, but I honestly like libraries, I haven't stolen anything from libraries as far as I know. Have you ever read a series out of order? Oh my god, no! <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. Like, I would I would never knowingly do that. And also, I would check first, probably. But I do ha I have done this where I've read like a sequel trilogy before reading the prequel trilogy, even though it was published in order. Again, library, for library reasons, because they only have the second one, for example. And I have also bought books uh, like the third book of a series, even though I haven't owned the first one or haven't even read it, stuff like that. So, but no, I, I would never knowingly read a series out of order. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? Probably. <laughs> um, I feel like what I consider spoilers isn't always what other people consider spoilers, so... I feel like, I mean, I think it's a gray area, like telling people plot points that aren't really plot twists, but just like something that happened in a book. You, I think it could be debated whether or not that would be a spoiler, but I do, I probably have. I wouldn't intentionally do that unless, well, sometimes my boyfriend doesn't want to read the book and I like want to talk to him about it. So I just like ask him if he's okay with me spoiling it and I, usually he is. So, um... Yeah, only only if they let me. <laughs> Have you ever doggy-eared a book? Please shoot me if I ever do that. Um, no, I feel like that's that's the worst thing you could do to a book. There is absolutely no conceivable reason why that would make any sense at all. There is such a thing as a bookmark. This is a magical little device called a bookmark. Use it. Yeah, posts it you post it's you can use there's literally so many different ways you can mark a book without actually dog earing it so I'm I'm really I really do not condone of such behavior. No it's barbaric. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a question in terms of like because you haven't told them because you're ashamed of owning it or you haven't told them because you don't want them to like borrow it or take it from you. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I'm also not ashamed of owning any books. Like I wouldn't lie about it. Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? So the book that kind of comes to mind here for everyone I feel like is like Fifty Shades of Grey but even there I feel like it's fine to read it and I have told people that I've read it um, because there was such a hype around it and I wanted to know like what it was about. I hated it though, uh, but I, I think it's, n it's nothing shameful to have read it, so no. Have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? I think when I read New Moon for the first time I probably skipped 
several sections of Jacob's POV. I think I was able to power through quite a bit of it, but at some point I got so desperate to know how it was gonna end and how Bella and Edward were gonna reunite and all that, so that I just like read that scene and then went back and eventually actually read the Jacob parts. And lastly, have you ever ma bad wait what? Have you ever bad mouthed a book you actually liked? No, <laughs> uh, no, I, I wouldn't say that I like a book if I didn't like it or say I didn't like it if I liked it like that. There's no point in that. I feel like the point of being on booktube and talking about books or just like talking about books in general is like to recommend them and to be honest about them and like give your opinion because nothing else is relevant. There's really no merit, I think, to like lying about what you thought about a book. So no. I haven't. And that is it for the Guilty Readers book tag. I will think of a few people to tag. I don't know. I feel like everybody's done it already, but if I think of someone, I'll put them on the screen and put their names in the description. So you can do the ta this, this tag as well. I'm sorry. I can't speak today. What is up with my mouth? I don't know. But I will see you soon with another video. In the meantime, go check out some videos that I'm linking on the side right here that I've done previously. And uh, have a lovely week. I will see you soon. Bye.